Okay. So, today in America, it is 11-5-2024. This is the day in which we will be voting for President of the United States. We have two candidates running. So, I have a bet with a friend of mine running about the Atomic Shop that uh, today would be the perfect day for Bethesda to release all of their presidential um, power armor and power suit and all of those skins today would be the perfect day to release it because it literally falls on voting day in the United States so before I click this button and start this I wanted to let you know that I have that bet running um, let's see if I'm right and let's see so we have twitch drops still enabled through the 20th these in-game free items are still available if you don't have those it's double score and treasure hunters weekend and fallout first bonus for November looks like it's gonna be a new jute box all right let's go in here okay so we have the fall weather station the tool shed is out the fall shrub bundle what is this exactly ah it's just that brown nasty looking grass that most people want to keep out of their camps we have the violin chair the backyard chair let's see so the bundle is the tool shed, the backyard chair, um, the mounted uh, jackalope head, which has been in the game for a very long time, but has never been released. Why do I say that? It's on the the fireplace door that you got in the first uh, scoreboard. It's literally there on that white door. You got the... Uh, fall trees the elms the uh tool shed bundle also of course gives you the uh, wheelbarrow and then there's those nasty looking red fall shrubs um the weather station fall i'm not exactly sure what it gives you other than kind of Maybe a fil like a an enhanced filter in your camp. By the way, I figured out what these weather stations are for the most parts. The ones that don't actually have weather associated with them. I'm pretty sure it's just a filter bubble like you use in your camera. So the sipping station thing is still in here. The Great War which is their big sale on every bundle in the game pretty much that they have placed in it including all the Helvetia stuff the newlywed bundle the flatwood monster bundle the ghostly bundle and in greatest hits we have Slocum Joe's flats fat stack bundle which is this building right here if you don't have a coffee maker or a skin for your double barrel or you want any of these um, like bar set designs is actually not a bad deal plus you get a collectron well actually that's not a collectron that's a vendor bot that's a donuts themed vendor bot and the welcome sign it's not a bad little set to be honest it's just almost nobody uses that building ever for anything but oh and this is probably my favorite foot locker in the game stash box because it's one somebody would actually own so I'll go ahead and get that on this character because she didn't have it yet now for fallout first if you're still working with the fallout first free 
thing. It should be ending probably today. But if I were you, I'd consider picking up, you know, whatever you can from it. Make sure you get it all. Oh, I remember the Swiss rug. It was a good thing. Uh, there's just some stuff in here that I will not be using. But man, Fallout First has had some really cool junk over the years. This right here, which I think is funny, the hanging raider cage came out in the original um, scoreboard, if I remember correctly. Bullet mirror, Collectrons, water purifiers, all these different skins. I mean, this is my favorite power armor skin in the game, and it came from, I want to say, the second or last, or maybe third to last scoreboard we got. And he was one of the villains that fought the uh, military-themed thing that we had in there and this is like my favorite skin for flamethrower ever it's just one that i would personally buy and use or make if i had a flamethrower of my own to be honest kind of disappointed none of the presidential stuff is in here i thought i would check just to be on the safe side uh what a lost opportunity for bethesda but hey I don't make the bundles, I just tell you what's in them. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into game. We'll take a quick look at the score challenges for this week. I will not do any of them this time around because, in all honesty, I've completed what I needed to do on the scoreboard with both of my accounts at this point. And if I get any score, I happenstance before the end. I'm just going to go back through and buy some of the odds and ends that I didn't pick up, mainly power armor or armor skins, because I don't really buy those when I first go through, nor do I need all of those, because I have plenty of power armor skins that I like. I do think it's cool whenever I load into the game that that van's door opened for me. It makes me feel so much better. So, challenges. So today, you need to grab some adhesive if you're on Fallout first. Junk that produces adhesive, to be exact. You need to build turrets or traps in a workshop or camp. Complete uh, daily operation on a public team. Cripple a scorched arm. Kill a creature, ten of them while on a team. Scrap something to make steel. And sell fungus soup to a vendor. Now, for the weeklies, you're collecting right away. You're collecting any flavor of Nuka-Cola at 20. You're killing up to 10 floaters. You uh, kill 30 mutated enemies, 30 scorched, scrap $50 in pre-war money, scrap uh, junk to produce a s antiseptic, uh, scrap junk to produce rubber at 30, sell a weapon to an NPC vendor times 15, um, so basically here's what you've got to do. You've got to go out, kill a bunch of soup of scorched, take their weapons, sell them to a vendor. Um, go find yourself some, uh, ticks, kill them. That should give you the antiseptic that you need. The other option with that is you could buy... Or make bulks of antiseptic, rubber, steel, and adhesive, and go ahead and bulk those four items real quick, and then break them down and put them back into your inventory. That'll cost you one piece of plastic per bulk, and get you these things done instantly. So...
I would do that, to be honest. Now, as you can see, I've only got 50 tickets left on mine, and almost everything that I want, I've already picked up. The only thing that I'm picking up now are things like skins for armors that I don't have a lot of skins for. Like this one right here, for instance. Didn't have any skin for it, so made sense to pick it up. I like the rusted variety of paints for armors. I think it's a cool concept. Probably the best set idea overall. But as far as everything on this page goes, I would only pick up probably the carry weight booster, the perk coins, or the legendary modules. Maybe the mystery bobbleheads and the legendary script, but that's a big maybe. Because most of the, and that's all overpriced, to be honest. Their basic repair kits aren't really worth 75. You can get better repair kits just by going out and doing events where you've got the uh, exclamation point. You have chances for repair kits to drop during those anyway. And lunch boxes, I can use the extra gold bullion that I have floating around in my inventory and go pick those up from the vendor over at, let me show you real quick, right here, which is foundation. You can go to the gold vendor here and he has those he'll sell you. And pretty much everybody else has them as well. If you haven't finished the, uh, Halloween event, I'm sorry. But it's over now. Um, if you have finished it, well. Congratulations. It was a bit of a butt. Alright, I gotta get her appearance back to normal because I can't run around looking like this anymore. Because she needs to go back to her normal appearance. There we go. That's my serial killer. So, another thing to note. If you ever need to kill rad stags, this is one area where they spawn at right outside of Grafton on the other side. They also spawn typically on the other side of Grafton over by the train yard right in this bend area right here. Or right in here. Okay? So keep that in mind. Have a good time. Have fun with the game. Bethesda missed out on a big opportunity with the presidential stuff. They could have just dropped it all today and, you know, it would have made sense. But probably won't happen until the uh, end of their uh, career, so to speak, with this game. I need to take a quick picture. So let's do that. Um, switch depth of field off. I'll go out up here. This is probably my favorite area in the game. It's the area that feels the most like a real town, by the way. To me. But, anyway... You guys have a good time. Talk to you later.